Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're going over the new 4-round burst sniper rifle, the Paragale. If you didn't know, you can acquire this sniper rifle on the new Lua Conjunction survival missions. Better drop rate on the higher level one, fully drop from A and B drop rotations of the survival, as well as you can buy it off Yonta on the Zeraman afterwards if you so choose. So it's not that hard to farm all in all. We're going over exactly like why it's so amazing. If you didn't know, this sniper has a couple shticks to it. Well, specifically one. Other than it's pretty normal two times, four times zoom in, you know, 20% and then 40 crit damage, it has a special headshot shenanigan going on. And what that is, is if you land four headshots, or if you get a kill with a headshot, it grants you 100% ammo efficiency. So I just want to show this off to you first. So, four headshots, right? If you land perfectly, you have 100% ammo efficiency. And you can see that in the top right there. But if you don't land them perfectly, the Gale Force buff will go away. So remember, you gotta land those headshots. And then in theory, the Gale Force buff lasts for four seconds, right? So what you need to do is constantly land headshots. And this gun has infinite ammo. The nice thing about this is it also now activates on headshot kill, opposed to just headshot, like consecutive headshots. Before it was nerfed and uh, you couldn't activate it like that, but now you can activate it just getting a kill with headshots, because before landing the four round headshot was pretty hard if you're one-shotting everything, right? So if you get a kill with a headshot, it'll also activate. I could do really low level enemies, right? Simulate level ones, clear them, kill enemies. I could just uh, do that and then show you exactly how it works, right? So now, oh, look at that Gale Force buff. Used one ammo to get the kill, look at that, perfect. Getting all the headshots, and my ammo is staying at 100%. So, that is the overview of the sniper rifle. As you might notice, it has overall low ammo capacity, not a ton of an ammo. It has more because I'm using Varuna, but I think regularly 12 magazine with a ammo stock of 24, capacity, what have you. So that's pretty good. This is the base stats of Paragale, right? Accuracy, all that, fall off, alarming. Fire rate, two, magazine 12, right? Punch through one, reload three. Okay, okay. But you might notice here, oh, the damage numbers are pretty good. What's that, 28 crit chance. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. 2.6 crit multiplier. Okay, you can do a lot with that. And 16% status, right? So pretty good status overall. Decent enough, right? Good crit though, which is what's more important for a sniper. And the main damage type is puncture, secondary damage type is slash, and worst damage type is impact. So all in all pretty good with 172 total damage, and this is the build that I currently have on it. It's by no means like a perfect perfect build, but it works really well for obvious reasons. You want some prime tread for that fire rate and punch through, crit delay because the crit's insane, serration for some damage, but if you have your arcane on you can change out serration, but I don't have any sort of arcane on. You do have an arcane, you probably want to go with headshot arcanes and damage arcanes, things like that, because the idea is you want to always have 100% ammo and you don't want to reload too often. It's also good for Eidolon hunting if you want to do that, right? It just does good damage and if it bursts, can kill Eidolon as well. So it's not my thing, but you know, people have mentioned that. And the status I throw on is pretty regular, just yeeted on some corrosive, why not? You can throw on the usual viral heat if you want, but meh, it doesn't matter too much. You can change off Galvanized Aptitude if you don't really want that, and you know, that's probably fine. Give it more just general crit or damage, or maybe you want reload. I don't know, it's up to you, but more multi-shot with Galvanized Chamber is a must, of course. And then, yeah, the status is uh, you can always throw around. Crit Delay, you don't have to use Crit Delay if you don't want to. But, I mean, why wouldn't you use crit delay? Yeah, I mean, I would use hunter munitions, but eh, maybe not worth it because you're getting everything killed so quickly. So, maybe decide after that. Galvanized scope is definitely really good. So, you should probably maybe swap out galvanized aptitude with that. Let's be real here. I just need to throw on another forma 
so that I can swap out Galvanized Aptitude with Galvanized Scope, but I just haven't gotten to that quite yet. So I'm a little lazy, as you can see, haven't thrown in my Arcane, but it is ridiculously strong with even like a pretty whatever not optimal build for this gun. So would recommend right now. And then I'll just throw on higher level enemies with actual mods on to see how it performs. Because you gotta remember, before I had the max level enemy on, and they were like, <laughs> they're level one or 185 and I didn't have the mods on. Okay, clear with that. Then we'll spawn 20 corrupted bombards, right? Yeah, there we go. Boom, easy. I'm don't spend enough time in here. So, with the shtick of this, we can get even more crit damage out of it, right? Naturally. Since it is a headshot king, you just got to land some of your headshots there, and this is with like an imperfect, non-ideal headshot build. There you go, you'll, you'll last forever. I didn't need to reload there, I shouldn't have done that. You just shoot everyone forever. You're good to go. Oh, perfect. These are like level 185 enemies before I'm ramped up, I guess, so... That's also important to note, right? You need to ramp up your damage first, get some kills to start one-shotting everyone. They're not in a perfect line, so it's not like my Prime Shred is one-shotting instantly for the entire line, unless I go stand like somewhere like there. And then you can still see even a lot of the status effects go brr. So this sniper seems like it'll be pretty good. Good high damage for uh, higher levels overall, especially with all all, all that. Look at that, Ooh, beautiful. My golly jeepers. But I just wanted to show off this little sniper rifle and I'll also show off the Seraphang in another video, but yeah, if you ramp it up properly, swap out Galvanized Aptitude with Galvanized Scope, have a primary Arcane Adapter on, and you know, just wiggle around your build depending on if you want Corrosive, Viral, what have you, right? It is a powerhouse. A lot of people, again, having fun doing these with Eidolons and things like that. You can just snipe from all the way back here. Have no problem clearing the line. Snipe from all the way back there. <laughs> They're all dead except the one back there. Right? It's a strong sniper, and now that they fix the issue with the headshots being a four hit that is required instead of like a one shot kill, because you have to remember, there's a ton of different enemy types in regular maps of survival steel path, so you can very easily, very quickly ramp a gun up and then just keep it very strong if you plan on using it a lot. Because, like, jeez, it's not even the enhanced crit, just casually running around. I'm using Varuna without any damage amps on buff, right? Imagine having a strong Eclipse, Rhino, Roar, Volt shooting. There's a ton of buffs you can get even more damage out of this thing. So it's pretty crazy, would recommend, and I'm having a lot of fun with it now that they buffed it, right? I've only had, like, one play session using it where they actually buffed it, so I didn't play it too much, but it was really good. I was using it with ya girl Varuna and ya boy Grendel the Meatball, so would recommend. That's it for this video everyone, just wanted to quickly go over the Paragale, the new hype headshot damage crit sniper rifle, so would recommend. As always, if you want to support the channel, sub, like, comment down below, it always helps out in the grand YouTube algorithm. You can check out all the social medias, Discord, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, lol, there's all of them after all, so I do appreciate whenever you do and I will see you next time. Peace.